your granny glove. Now then, this here unexplained image is on yonder satellite. We've had this before, my lad. Are you taking the piss now? Or have I to really got to explain it again? You know how my lumbago plays up and I've had to climb out the bedroom window because you've left my bedroom door up to get... Now then, pay attention. I have to concentrate, you know, I get confused if I have to rush. This here ghost image, because that is all it is, is caused by data from one of the other cameras on the satellite bleeding over onto one of the others. You, you know, like it did last, last year. I think you were getting really excited then as well, weren't you? This results in the images you're seeing, again. I keep telling you, all this Nibiru is a made-up myth. And who's this physicist you're spending time with? She sounds like a bit of a nutter too. Especially with that Christopher Potter. He's mental. He wets his knickers over lens flare. He's nearly as bad as you. Not like that Brian Cox. Now he's nice. He knows what he's talking about. If only I was ten years younger, I'd be eighty. Right. I've got a couple of messages for you as well while I'm here. And then I've got to climb up the drain pipe back to bed. You took the key with you, you stupid bastard. Right, uh, first one. Uh, oh, it's from that bird you whiz. Yeah, she says, can you get some Cantonese? She's itching down below again. I don't think it's Cantonese she needs. And there's a Mr. Warranty bench waiting for you. Says it's very important he sees you. Okay. I'll see you later, you silly bastard. Oh, and get me some cockles on the way back as well, love. You know how I like them with some vinegar. Uh, I don't know how many times I've told him there's no such thing as Nibiru. I blame the Catholic priest who took him up the vestry. He didn't like that. The lights had gone out and it was pitch dark. I've never heard him scream so loud.